I mean, this is the one where it ends up. Oh. Well, hello. MF level four. Ah, close. Welcome back to Phasmophobia, last playthrough. Um, end up getting clapped. Uh, we're still playing on the beta version, so now we know to be a little bit more quiet um, when we end up hiding. So uh, we're gonna try the Asylum on solo, intermediate level, and we're gonna go ahead and jump right in. I've got a report that suggests a possible ghost sighting. Okay, that's helpful. And the fact that we're called in to, you know, determine the ghost. All right then, so now we've got that all kind of done established. Let's grab the key, uh, flashlight, camera, and thermometer. All right then, so get the thermometer ready to go. And let's run back and check the ghost's name. I'm learning, I'm learning. Christopher Smith. I managed to get a copy of the key. Yeah, I know, copy keyed. Alrighty then. So, the asylums and the bigger maps are kind of a pain in the butt to do on solo, because, I mean, basically when you're in darkness like this, it's draining your sanity the entire time. So by the time I find the room, uh, it could be hunt mode for days. Another thing I've kind of learned while I'm playing is um, walk the perimeter first and kind of listen out for uh, the telephones. And you can also look to see if the uh, doors and things that are slightly ajar. Hoping they didn't fix the uh, ability to actually check the temperature through the door. If they did, then that's going to hurt. Oh, this door's open. Looks like we already found our ghost room. Drop it outside. Then we can head back. Kind of save some, ooh, save some sanity there. We're gonna turn on the entrance lights. Alrighty, so what's sanity at 97? So thankfully it's not draining it super fast, super bad. But at the same time, we ended up finding the uh, room a crap ton faster than normally. Probably a good idea to have a exit strategy. Where'd the thermometer go? I know I put it down. I clipped through the... That's not cool. It kicked the breaker already? Hmm. And my thermometer's gone. That's not good. No, breaker's not been kicked. Hey, there's the switch. Eh, we'll see. I'll go ahead and flip this one on. So we'll end up having at least the beginning part we won't drain our sanity right away. I'm gonna regret this, but I think we'll drop that and then we'll bring the salt. We can put the salt down and then we can try to get uh, some spirit box stuff while we're here. This should be the room. Yep. Wait a second. What if? <gasps> oh. Oh, bueno. Okay, alright. We got to walk through salt already. Oh, crap. Okay, freezing temperatures for sure. Alright. Drop you, gotta go back, grab the book, because we put it in the wrong room. Oh, God almighty. Oh, 
Why is that key not working? Drop it. Yeah, that's fine. Oh, that got me. Oh, wait. How old are you? Where are you? Uh, I'm gonna... I'm gonna turn that on, but we're gonna leave. So we got... Ghost writing, and then we have the therm... The thermometer is reading that it's cold or uh, freezing temperatures. So my guesstimate is it might be another demon, but we're going to have to wait and see. But I don't know what else. Okay, so freezing temperatures and then ghost writing. Okay, so it could be a demon or a ure. Ure. So, Yure is ghost door. So, we need to make sure that we have a camera and a video camera to make sure to try to get the ghost orbs. Alright, then, so pick our camera back up and then we'll grab a whoop camera with the tripod. Alright, so we've knocked off two things too it was the uh, ghost event and then walking through the salt. The next thing we have to do is the EMF. Mm, forgot about that one. Hmm. Okay, so we're gonna drop you right here, I think. Alright, then we are going to exit and then go probably grab the uh mm. Oh wait, let's see. Definitely get a picture of the book. A picture of the salt. Just in case. Did they kick the breaker? Yeah, breaker's been kicked. Excuse you. A monitor blipped off. Alrighty, um, let's see here. Click, click. It should be number 15. Oh, well, it's not 15. Please tell me I, I turned it on. <laughs> I think I forgot to turn it on. Crap is that one. My monitor is freaking out on me, guys. I want to try to get the breaker banker right, go down, and we're gonna try to turn the breaker back on. We'll see how that goes. Oh, uh, this is where a breaker looks like it would be. But I'm not seeing a breaker. Oh well. Such is life. A couple of the guys I play with uh, are cracking me up because they said, man, you could get lost really easy, you know, uh, in the uh, asylum. And in panic mode, I could totally see that. But I mean, for me, I've played enough Doom that I kind of have a decent idea in my mind of when I need to go and do and all the other kind of stuff and kind of m can map it out enough in my mind that. Even though I might get temporarily lost, I'm not like, oh, it's hopeless. Hey, you jerk, you closed the door. Give me a sign. Hey, that's a good sign. Oh, you are naked. How old are you? Okay, it's a demon. We're out of here. I ain't giving no shits about anything else. We've gotten all the stuff. I ain't gotta deal with it. I'm out. Yeah, cause last time I got clapped as a freaking demon. It was stupid aggressive. Alrighty. Boop. There goes that. Looks like we got all the objectives. We figured out it's a demon, which 
Do do do. Spirit box. Human. So yeah, there's no sense in hanging around no more. That was actually pretty freaking quick. It's about like I don't know, 15, 20 minutes, something like that. Yeah, going on asylum when these uh, going ghost hunting in the big maps like asylum, they can be kind of dauntingly tough sometimes. <clears throat> Two hundred bucks. Give me the cash and I'm up to level sixty. I love it. Alright. So let's see. Tanglewood. Yeah, we'll do Tanglewood. We'll keep it at intermediate. Intermediate seems to be kind of at least for me the kind of sweet spot. Especially when I'm playing solo. Uh professional can be fun and things that sometimes it can be pain in the butt, surprisingly though. And not not for like, oh it's so tough, just <sighs> like annoyingly so like i've had a lot of hunts where there's like next to no activity and like the entire time you're trying to get the third piece of evidence and you're going around you're trying to piss the ghost off you know saying its name doing all the stuff and things like that and nothing so that's why I, I tend to not like the professionals when you end up having about two three people professionals are better because people usually kind of spread out and they kind of do their thing and you can usually get uh better responses and stuff like that so all right the tanglewood street house on intermediate ready and up let's go no report okay so salt crucifix a thermometer all right <clears throat> clickety clack last time it was up in this room i think that was the last time i was at this one yeah, I think so. It was like that little funky, um... Well, that was a beefy lightning bolt. Um, yeah, it was like in here, and it ended up being like a, uh, lanky, almost alien-looking type thing. I'm gonna grab that, just in case they decide to be in the, uh, garage. My mommer's not doing his job. Oh, wait. It's almost, yeah, it's the garage. Give us a sign. Yeah, down to the 51, I'm thinking it's the garage. All right, so we're gonna go ahead and drop the thermometer. And we're gonna run back and grab a couple things. Actually, tell you what, drop you and we'll, we'll double check. 46. Okay, yeah, it's definitely in here. Doesn't seem like it's going to be freezing temps, but. Alright, so now we got that going. Put one you there, one there, and one there. So we can eat that. Oh, somebody's walked through the salt. Alright. Go grab a couple other. Uh, I'll get it when I get back. Yeah, the key that I get picked up here, that's the car key. If you can hear that, eh, 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 he set off the car alarm. Or excuse me, she, it's Ruth. Seems to be a touchy ghost. Let's take in... Oh, whoa. Okay, so yeah, we got the salt and we got the thermometer, so we just need the crucifix. Ah, uh, hmm don't actually have any solid evidence, do I? Um, let's do... Hmm. Let's do the book. Go drop that off. Alright, bruh. You need to, like, not do that with the car, because that gets annoying, like, really quick. So, thank you for the sign. Stop it. How old are you? Okay, we got some spirit box activity going on. Oop, that's the wrong button. So we got that. Where? Where? Oh, you blinked in and out, you jerk. You could have at least let me take a picture of you. 
Alright, so now that we got the spirit box, uh, let's go and grab... Okay. Let's go and grab the... Hmm. She seems to be pretty handsy. Let's grab the... Uh, black light. Uh, you know what? Instead of doing the black light, let's grab ourselves... The camera, I think. Then we can drop it off somewhere. I know I don't need the tripod, but... Mm. Usually I kind of put it on like where I put the book, but I think I'll put it on the opposite corner facing the car. Yes, I think over here would be fine. And I guess I could have used the shelving, but I mean, eh, I've got the tripod with me, so might as well go ahead. I'll go ahead and grab the black light here. Uh, yeah, we'll go ahead and look in first and then we'll come back out. Where? Where? Oh. You lying sack of That's a kid. Yeah, we're gonna check for ghost orbs. The... Ooh. Activity spiked up. It was a nine at some point when she popped up. Alright, so we're gonna check for ghost... Hey. Didn't have to check long. Just above the car. Ghost orbs. We already have our second clue. Which is ghost orbs. Which means it can be a mare, a gin, or a poltergeist. They seem to be pretty handsy, but I don't know if it's a poltergeist. I'm actually kind of leaning towards a gin. But I don't know. We'll see. Oh, whoa. Look at that activity, man. Yeah. It was uh, pretty high and spiked there. Hmm. Alright, so let's go ahead and take... Oh, crap, I forgot to drop the... Oh, well. We're going to go in with the EMF. Hopefully we can get some evidence there. Again with the damn car. Ruth, I told you about that. Okay, shit's more flying everywhere. Alright. Got two. Hey, Ruthie Ruth, how you doing, girl? You seem to be pretty slow. Give us a sign. Me and the viewers want to know something about you. Are you a poltergeist, gin, or mare? Where are you? Oh, you're here. Hmm. Uh, and this is the one where it ends up... Oh! Well, hello. EMF level 4. Oh, fuck. Ah, close. Alrighty, that was kind of nerve-wracking. Oh, jeez Louise. Alrighty then, so, lights back on. Oh, that was lightning. Yeah, that's level four, but... What was that beep? It sounded like a microwave. Yeah, a little bit of activity there. That was nerve-wracking, man. That is one of the things. Sweet. Alright, so honestly, we already have a picture of the ghost, so let's take that, and then let's take... What did I do with my... Oh, there it is. I'm going to take the black light. 
Hmm. Alright, so we're going to chuck you down there. Like there's some kind of humming. That was weird. When I was in the uh, um, garage there, it sounded like there's like a woman or a little girl just mm -hmm, like humming. That was weird. God love you developers. No, she keeps shutting the doors. I need to redo the black light. I need to redo the black light. Ooh. Or the put fingerprints right there. All right. Yep. Ooh, that kind of got me a little bit. Yeah, I don't know if it's going to show up on the recording, but there was, it sounded like some kind of, somewhere over here, like there was a, a, a girl or a woman, kind of like, mm -hmm. Dude! <laughs> oh my lord, I think we just got the crucifix one, because I think she was going into hunt mode there. That was crazy, oh yeah. Oh yeah, she definitely wanted to, I'm thinking. Oh, we didn't get it. Crap. So we're definitely dealing with a poltergeist then. Alright. So, let's go get a picture of them their fingerprints. Uh, 66%, so we should be okay. Cross the fingers. Fingerprints. Uh, try to get the crucifix. No. Try to get the crucifix in a better spot. Maybe. So, let's eat you there. I just don't feel like getting clapped and losing a bunch of stuff. But, for the content, we shall attempt. Alrighty then, so here's my plan. Ruth. 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 Yeah, it's annoying, isn't it? It's just like the damn car alarm. Ruth. Ruth, yeah, Ruth, come on, Ruth, 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 Ruth. They gonna do anything? Maybe I should go. Maybe I should stay. Should I stay or should I go now? I should not go down. I hear humming. I didn't see her, and the lights weren't flashing. So... I, I don't know. Like, I heard her. And it was like that kind of grudge. And, but also heard like some humming. So I guess they added humming or the first time I've actually noticed it. I don't know. That's kind of weird. Please, please, please let it have worked. Yes, it works. So now I can get out of here. And. I didn't die. Woo! So. Good game. Pow! Yay! I didn't die! Yay! Look at that. It was a poltergeist. Uh, 130 bucks. And we're up to level 61. Fan freaking tastic. Um, Alrighty, guys. We're just going to go ahead and I think call it there. 
Um, I'm having a crap ton of fun doing this. Um, getting clapped in the one playthrough uh, before this one. Um, it's been a while since it's been clapped, and I was not expecting that whatsoever. Um, another fun fact is, uh, I think I'll keep doing some solo, but I think I want to start uh, playing with some friends, a friend or two online, things that to kind of, you know, uh, get some funness to it and kind of see where that takes. Um, I'm not sure exactly if that's going to be um, how I'm going to do that for cutting. If we're just going to probably going to just record a bunch of long stuff and then I'll crop it. Um, so there may not be any intros or outros. It might just literally be jump right into it. Um, but yeah, I, I'll kind of play around and see. So, but um, yeah, I hope you've been liking this. If you've liked it, hit that like button. Uh, subscribe if you're not already. Uh, bell notification to activate uh, if you want to be up to date with alerts for the channel. Um, but yeah, otherwise that's going to do it. So you know what? Take it easy. See you next time.